Hi, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Bernard Taylor, the Senior Army Instructor for David W. Carter High School, the 21st Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Battalion. Our GRTC program is designed to teach high school students the value of citizenship, service to the community, personal responsibility, and a sense of accomplishment while instilling in them self-esteem, teamwork, and self-discipline. We are a class in lieu of physical education. GRTC is a great class to place on a college application. Hello students and parents. I'm Master Sergeant Brian Henley, Army Instructor. I want to talk to you about our mission. This is reflected in our mission statement. To motivate young people to be better citizens. This prepare high school students for responsible leadership roles while making them aware of their rights, responsibilities, and privileges as American citizens. Our program promotes graduation from high school. It provides instruction, rewarding opportunities that will benefit the student, the community, and the nation. We do not recruit for the military or force kids to join the military. That's a decision for students and parents. Hello, students and parents. My name is Sergeant First Class Frank Sheets. I'm an instructor for the 21st GRTC Battalion. All students will be issued a uniform to wear at least one day a week. We also participate in formal events like parades, military ball, drill, color guard, and step team uh, teams, competition, and other community functions that require us to use to wear our uniform. The uniform will be issued at no expense to the student. The highlight of the year is when we host our annual award banquet. At this event, we display all the accomplishments for the school year. Last year, we accomplished being the best, one of the best in the nation, as honor unit with distinction, and we owe that responsibility to our kids. Some of the key classes taught to our students and cadets are leadership, decision making skills, problem solving, peer pressure skills, teamwork, health and fitness, service learning, planning, and citizenship, just to name a few. We also talk to our junior, juniors and seniors about the five E's and which bucket would they like to prepare for graduation. The first bucket is furthering your education. The second is seek employment. The third is enlist in the military service. One of those three is what our students slash cadets will do or perform once they graduate from high school. Also, they will need encouragement as the fourth E from all family and friends. And last, what, whichever bucket that they choose, they will need enthusiasm every day to accomplish all the missions and which bucket that they fell into. We, we also have extracurricular activities like an air rifle team, a drill team, color guard, athletic and academic teams, and a leadership development camp, just to name a few. In closing, we look forward to this upcoming school year and are here to support students and parents in whichever bucket a family chooses for their future. We are here to help students and parents before, during, and after high school graduation. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. And go, go Cowboys! Cowboys. There are things that students can do that they've never done before. They want to enjoy themselves. They want to have new experiences. They want to have challenges. They want to see the world in a different light, but in a safe environment, but they still want to stretch the limits. We want them to understand uh, the country and what it's about, where we're at, where we're going, that they're an integral part of it, and they can make a difference for themselves, their community, and our nation. What single high school activity today is responsible for dramatically changing the lives of so many young people? Where are high school students learning valuable lessons in leadership, integrity, honesty, commitment, citizenship, and respect? 
and where are instructors using dynamic methods of teaching, focusing on the way students learn and applying those skills in and out of the classroom? The answer, Army Junior ROTC. JROTC is about belonging, belonging to a diverse organization made up of students, instructors, and parents committed to excellence in teaching and learning skills that will last a lifetime. JROTC is not about joining the military, rather it's about doing your best and being recognized for it. Junior ROTC offers each cadet a chance to excel, an opportunity to participate, the prospect for success in and out of the classroom. What I like the most about it is that it, it teaches me dedication. It keeps me motivated in school, not only in just JRTC. Because, I mean, you have to be a leader. You have to stick out. You, have, you can't like live in your own comfort zone. You have to learn to step outside of the box sometimes. JROTC has been a positive force in our communities, families, and schools. And there is no cost to enroll. At the core of the JROTC curriculum is the development of citizenship, leadership, academic excellence, and character development. Citizenship includes respect, honesty, and integrity. Leadership and teamwork skills help students develop character. As a result, cadets often emerge as leaders in their classes and other school organizations. In addition to classroom instruction and activities, cadets also compete with other schools, perform ceremonial presentations, mentor and tutor other students in various grade levels, and are active in service to their communities. High school JROTC instructors are retired officers and non-commissioned officers who come from a wide array of experiences, locations, and specialties, thus adding to the diversity of the program. JROTC offers students a wide variety of experiences, whether they're interested in pursuing a career in the military or not. The opportunity to be part of a team, the opportunity to learn character, the opportunity to practice citizenship. Those are all fundamental activities that JROTC offers for students regardless of what their career choices may be, whether it's the military or civilian life. A common thread that runs through JROTC is the willingness to embrace improved learning and teaching techniques and strategies. JROTC is on the leading edge of new methods for preparing its cadets in this new century. Instructors use contemporary technologies and models to enhance their teaching, learning, and listening skills. The results are evident in the classroom. Students often see their grades improve in many of their regular classes due to a broadened perspective gained from their connection with JROTC. By the end of the first year, they are all above a 3.0. And it is not that I'm a great teacher. It's the curriculum and the structure that we put them through that makes them proud of who they are. When the kids walk into my class, right behind me, the first thing they'll see is, uh, up on the board, it's not how smart I am, but it's how I am smart. And it's my responsibility to find that, to help them identify that, and then nurture that so we can bring out their talents. JROTC's curriculum includes a cross-section of subjects that support and amplify existing high school studies, including history, math, science, geography, civics, written and oral communications, and life and work skills. JROTC's only expectation of cadets is that they do their best, that they practice integrity with their peers, parents, teachers, and society and that they participate in a spirit of willingness. From that grows a common goal among cadets, leadership excellence. JROTC has helped me in several ways. I'd say probably the biggest way it's helped me is learning to manage my time better. That has really helped, especially now that as we're getting older, we're taking more advanced classes with more and more demand. Managing your time becomes extremely important in high school, and not only high school, but later on in life. I'm, I'm an advocate for these kids because I think what we're seeing is, is really bright, innovative young people that have learned an entirely new style. And in fact, many of our best and brightest young people have learned, I would say, despite an old educational system that was really built for students 30 years ago and has been reluctant to change. So I'm, I'm really encouraged about the future because I think, I think what we're seeing is young people, the next generation, learning to teach themselves. I believe 
that the need for JRTC is paramount for our students in today's educational system. The opportunity they learn as JRTC students in character development, in leadership development, and preparation for college is a vital role that they serve in our students' education today. Thank you.